nilqakkom għal din is-sezzjoni, sezzjoni kif għat nejdilkom il-luma għanna program speċjali, program speċjali min ħabba li kienem il-wirja internazjonali taħtes u ovvjament il-lum għanna mistidna min barra min Malta għalix ġewe sebeturi barra nin jesebiċu taħtes taħom u ovvjament għanna mlulom din l-intervista għanna raw ftit xtib ta' brid għandom, xtib ta' razza għandom kifu koll l-esperienza taħom li kellom il-bira għu għad din il-wirja internazjonali. Thanks for coming here on our show and I would like to um, to ask you first of all um, about your breed. So um, can you tell us about your breed? What is your breed? Well, I have actually two breeds. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have first of all ragdolls. I started with ragdolls in 1998. I bought my first pedigree pet. Um, his name was Smudgy and I fell in love with the breed. They're very sweet, gentle cats, very much family oriented. They're kind of like little dogs. They'll follow you around. They're mm -hmm. interested in seeing what you're doing. Um, very friendly, very warm characters. Um, I've had several other breeds in the meantime, and recently Persians. Persians. So you have ragdolls and Persians. Yes. And uh, um, I know that you are uh, a judge as well. Yes. Um, uh, can you tell us um, some uh, um, something, um, uh, some experience from your? Uh, your past um, experience as a judge. Okay. Um, I started judging mostly because I really love cats. Mm -hmm. I could have every breed in my house. My husband would kill me. So <laughs> the best way around it is by handling the cats weekends, you I know, see. and enjoying sphinxes and enjoying Persians and enjoying um, Bengals, whatever breed that I come across. I love judging. It's, it's fun. It's fun with the cats. Um, I have wonderful experiences every weekend. Something happens, something amusing, the cats are funny. Yes, it's fun. I love it. Okay, that's good. Um, can you tell us about the process of being a judge, of becoming <sighs> a judge? Excuse me. It's quite a long um, study. Mm -hmm. You first of all have to start with being stood. Um, you also should be a breeder. Mm -hmm. You should have show experience in the sense of organizing shows. Um, you move on and you start your student judging where you have to go to shows, sit and watch the cats, ask the questions, examine the cats. You have to pass papers as you go along. Um, the final, final exam to become one particular group of cats, so for example, you have the long hairs. You have to go and take an exam, first of all written, and then it's also doing judging publicly. You have to learn to also public speak, which is a little bit difficult in the beginning. Okay, um, so uh, here you brought with you a ragdoll. Yes. And um, um, how about the show of yesterday? We're thrilled. Um, it was her very first show ever. Um, she was a smallish kitten. We kept her. Mm -hmm. um, she she didn't grow. What is her name? By the her way? name is Panacotta. Mm -hmm. She didn't grow as as I wanted her to. So she had a set of babies last year. Mm -hmm. Then we saw a huge development in her. This breed is long term. They develop finally at four years, and she's a year and a half. So to come to her first show, achieve what she did, we're thrilled with her. I see. And what um, what are the characteristics of a ragdoll? What are the characteristics? Um, first of all, we're talking about what they look like. They should have this rather broad, round face, mm -hmm. beautiful blue eyes always. They come in several different patterns. Um, the characteristics, as I said before, it's super sweet, super gentle, very much family-oriented pets. Mm -hmm. um, I recommend them to anybody who's got a small child. I see. And what about the standard at the moment? <laughs> the standard, um, it calls for, as I said, the broad head, mm -hmm. broad muzzle, um, blue eyes, they must have deep blue eyes, yes. um, smallish rounded ears, forward tilted as, as she has them. Mm -hmm. The profile is a gentle slope, broad forehead. In males, it's even broader. It's, mm -hmm. it's very broad in the males. Coat is super silky. And um, as I said, they have this very specific patterns. They're pointed cats. So they're, they're, their tails and their ears must be the dark color. If they are solid, then they have the color all the way down the legs. She is a bicolor. So mm -hmm. she has it on her back, her tail, her ears, and she has the V in her face. I see. And uh, which colors um, um, does do, do exist as regards ragdolls? Everything. 
Everything. Mm -hmm. um, blue, seal, um, you've got the torties, you've got the reds, you've got the creams, you've got chocolates, you've got lilacs, so pretty much every colour. I personally prefer uh -huh. the blue and the seal. I see. So it, that's your preference. Yes. <laughs> I see. And uh, um, your husband, Alex. Hello. What is your relationship with cats? Well, I have uh, quite a lot of cats around me. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, I got involved in the hobby, um, organizing shows, going to shows, made a lot of friends. Uh, you uh, also organize shows yes, in Romania? Yes, so, uh -huh. so. We've been organizing two shows a year since 2006. Mm -hmm. We've got our next show coming up in a few weeks. So, so you're busy at the them. moment, preparing for the show as well? <laughs> as you know very well. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> a lot it of involves work. a lot of work, yes, I know. <laughs> it's quite a lot of organisation, uh -huh. uh, particularly as our shows in Romania tend to be very international. Uh, we have got a lot of people coming from the neighbouring countries and not mm -hmm. only, so it's a, it's a sort of a celebration of friends that have not seen each other for quite some time and it's... People tend to sort of come Thursday and leave Monday. I see. Uh, one long big party. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, which which breed do you prefer? I know that you have Persians now and ragdolls. <laughs> we have Persians and ragdolls. Um, right. I have always loved sort of you know, ragdolls. Uh, I fell in love with Cornish Rags, which I thought were an amazing breed. We're not breeding them at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think Persians are very funny, so that's okay. I just love cats. It's mm -hmm. a lot, uh, Why they are very funny? Why do you think they are funny? Uh, as kittens, they behave completely different to almost any other breed. Uh -huh. They are, um, I don't know, I guess because they're short. Uh -huh. And when they're, when they're young and they're very active and uh, they, they just go into everything and I, I always thought of Persians as a placid breed but they're not um, and it's like different from what we've had. What is the difference between the ragdolls and the Persians? So? Um, surprisingly enough Persians are, 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 are more active and I always thought it would be the other way around. Um, uh, a lot more work in the Persians um, and I don't know, just different, completely different. I would say they're a little bit more devilish. The they're Persians. a little bit more daring, yes. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. Look, ragdolls are basically like little dogs. They're, they're, they're a lot quieter, they wait for you at the door when you come home. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, if you want to play with them, they'll play with you, but otherwise they'll mind their own business. Mm -hmm. uh, not really Persians. Persians, if they want to play, they play. With or without you. <laughs> <laughs> they are more cunning, maybe, the Persians. Um, Devilish. Devilish. <laughs> the word. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Devilish. It's, it's a good word. Very <laughs> To get to know. And what about the grooming of the of the of this breed, of the um, ragdoll? Of the ragdoll? Mm -hmm. Considerably easier than a Persian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Considerably easier. Um, they are. They tend not to lose as much hair no? as a Persian. Uh -huh. Um, the white stays white, surprisingly. From show to uh -huh. show, I don't bath them. I mean, they really don't take a lot of work. Um, of course, a nice brush once a week or something is good. Mm -hmm. But overall, they're quite a strong, sturdy cat with a wonderful coat to take care of. Uh, so I recommend them to people who yeah. don't want high maintenance. I see. Very seldom does the hair mat or have knots or things like that. It's a lot more usual in Persians, as you know. Yes, yes, I know. And the <laughs> texture, they require much more work. The texture sure. is also different, though, because it's mm -hmm. like a bunny rabbit fur to touch, mm -hmm. whereas a Persian is a lot longer and a lot more fluffy. Yes, uh -huh. I agree. So we have much more work as regards the Persians than the ragdoll. Yes. It's, also, it's also completely different cosmetics. Uh -huh. We use completely different shampoos and completely okay. different everything uh -huh. to Persians to, to, to ragdolls because the coat <laughs> must look different. The, um, the coat on the ragdoll is silky, it's not fluffy. Mm -hmm. And to get that look, you have a different shampoo. I see. That's very interesting. And uh, what are your future plans now as regards shows? I know that you have um, a show coming in Romania. We have three shows, really. We have one show uh, at the end of February, we have one show at the end of May in Black Sea, and we've got one show in October, close to the border with Hungary. Uh, and on top of that, we'll be going to quite a few shows ourselves uh, that uh, well, friends of ours are organizing. 
Um, so it's going to be quite a busy competitive year for us. What's also exciting though is um, Serbia has the, um, now a new club, mm -hmm. so we will be going there quite a bit and they will be coming to us, which is exciting because we've not had that relationship for quite a while. In, so. in, in, in the Balkans, we're now basically creating a, like a friendship hub of clubs and it's, you know, helpful. It's very, very helpful. And of course, Bev is taking the last category exam in about a month. Good luck, so. <laughs> so you, you will be you now uh, an old breed judge? An old breed judge, yes. I yes. wish you all the best of luck um, you. for your judging and also uh, for your cats, with your cats. Thank you, you very much. Showing. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to be here. Thank you, thank you. Um, o anna u kol maana um, dawk jinu Alex u Beverly, um, Alien min ġewa Romania u kalmuna u jemen dwar l-esperienza ta' xom, jorganizzaw il-shows kif smajtu għom da' jeb, u għalu l-naw kol dwar il-karakteristici tal regdol il-qattusa li ġabu maħħu min-lum, panna kotta, u għovjo men tando mu kol il-tatas persiani d-dar, u għalu naf li di-differenza bejn it-ne interessante għax tal-lib tħafla minna għandom jina u kol. Minna għalu għra l-lum għanna u kol esabitu riħor li ġi min ġewa Romania u kol, Marius Eleftarescu. I welcome you here. And um, here you brought an, a maikun. Yes, a maikun. A maikun. It's a kitten maikun. What, what are the characteristics of the maikun? Well, the maikun is uh, the largest uh, breeding cat in yes, the world uh -huh. for the moment. Uh, they are very gentle. Mm -hmm. They are very sweet The cats. gentle giants. Yes, yes. that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> correct. Uh, they are also called gentle giants. And uh, as you see, they are very relaxed, very people orientated, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, they are very sweet. Even if it's a big cat, mm -hmm. you don't uh, see it in the house. It's very quiet, it's not a noisy cat. It's a very, very quiet cat, a very loving cat. He likes to play, mm -hmm. every time he likes to play. Uh, kittens are more active than uh, adults, it's normal, and kittens are very playful. Uh, adults are uh, ma more loving cats than uh, kittens. They stay in your lap, they stay on you, they uh, uh, purr and, uh, oh, <laughs> you know, they love you. In, uh, uh, characteristic for this breed is that uh, the cat chooses his uh, master mm -hmm. and uh, he is very faithful to her master. And the other people in the house are only accepted. <laughs> it's uh, quite uh, interesting this uh, very interesting. Uh, comportment. <laughs> you know, me and my wife we are sharing cats. I have my cats, she has her cats. Her cats, uh -huh. <laughs> her cats are accepting me and my cats are accepting hers. <laughs> so that's the, that's the you way it is. You both have Maine Coons? Uh, you have only Maine Coons? Only Maine as a Coons, yes. And how many do you have at home? Coons, how many, yeah. how many, how many uh, Maine Coons do you have at home? At the moment we have 16 Maine Coons. 16 Maine Coons? Yes, including uh, kittens. I see. And now we expect a new litter these days, so we'll have maybe 21, 22. <laughs> My goodness, <laughs> you're adding more. Yes. <laughs> you're adding more. And... and uh, uh, they need a lot of maintenance? Uh, the Maine Coon needs a well, lot of maintenance? Uh, they don't need quite a lot of maintenance. Yes, you have to brush them uh, uh -huh. every few days. Uh, yes, you have to take care of them. It's normal. Uh, we always uh, change water, change food, uh, give them fresh food, fresh water every day. So uh, brush them almost uh, every day. And, uh, and in order to, to um, in order to prepare them for a for a cat show, yes. what do you do exactly? So you have to give them a bath first of uh -huh. all, and they use specific shampoos because uh, the coat must look a little bit silky uh -huh. and uh, must go down very nice. Uh -huh. And uh, it's uh, we use different shampoos for different colors because uh, they have a lot of colors. I see. Which so, colors do you have at home? Well, I have uh, silver, I have uh, red ones, I have torty ones, I have white ones. I have quite a lot. Yes, they are very different uh, uh -huh. as co uh, in color and uh, 
uh, we and like to is... have a colorful cats. I see, I see. And which is your favorite? Your well, favorite uh, my favorite is at home. Uh, uh -huh. She just gave birth to one kitten and uh, now she's feeding him. <laughs> I home. see. What is her color? Uh, she's a torty one. A torty. Yes, I love torty cats. I see. And she's, uh, she's my favorite and uh, she loves me very much. She sleeps always on top of me. Yes, it's true. Yes, and... Uh, How sweet. <laughs> she's very spoiled. Very spoiled, uh-huh. Yes, very spoiled. <laughs> uh, she doesn't accept to be spoiled by my wife, but only by me. Only by you. <laughs> yes. Very, very interesting. And this cat you brought uh, here with you, she is uh, still a kitten? Yes, she's still a kitten. It's uh -huh. eight months old. Uh, what is the, her name? Uh, her name is Julia. Julia. Uh -huh. Yes, and... Uh, they grow up uh, and get mature about four years old, mm -hmm. so uh, we still have to wait to grow up and see how she develops. I She's see. a very promising kitten mm -hmm. with uh, very good show results. Mm -hmm. we, uh, this is her third show already. Her third show, uh-huh. Yes, and... Uh, in every show she got How did very she do? Good. How did she do in the show yesterday? Uh, yesterday she got uh, best in show uh, for both shows and uh, she got second place of the ring. Mm. So uh, it's a very good result for uh, her. She's a very promising cat. Yes, it's a very promising cat and we uh, want to keep her for breeding. Mm, very good. And what are your plans for well, the future as uh, regards showing? We intend to go to show in a few weeks in Romania to our uh -huh. club and uh, participate there with more cats if possible. And uh, also we go to other shows in the neighborhood, in neighbor countries. Uh, uh, well, we intend to buy also another cat uh, for breeding, but we are still prospecting the market. I see. <laughs> How long have you been um, breeding Bengals? Well, uh, I think it's already seven years. Since seven years? Yes, oh. That's quite a long time. Um, well, you don't uh, feel how the time passes. It's uh, time flies, quite in fact. nice. <laughs> 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 yes. But before you had, um, before the Maine Coons, um, did you have another breed, other breeds? Uh, no, we didn't no. have another breed, but we always had a cat in the house. Uh -huh. I had a cat since I was born, my wife the same, so <laughs> we both uh, love cats. You are cats. both cat lovers. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. so, so that's very nice. Uh, when uh, our cats died, uh, uh -huh. they were very old, uh, we decided to buy a uh -huh. breeding cat and start breeding ourselves. And, it was a new experience, it was uh, something that we didn't do it before, but it's nice and we enjoy this and we like this very much. I see. Um, I would like to thank you for being here. Good luck for your future plans. And uh, the, the cats are very, very, very nice, very lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for being here on our show. Grazie Hafna, Lil Alex, and Beverly Alien, who are here with us, who are here with Marius L.F. Terescu, from the Romania, who are here with us, who are here with us, who are here with us, and who are here with us, 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 who are here with